I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you see the little shirt, please, Here. 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 We'll go to number two public comment. All questions and comments will be directed to the mayor. Each speaker will be given the three minutes to comment on top of the on the agenda only. And each speaker will be allowed one opportunity to speak. Do you have any uh, statement and address for the uh, record? Uh, are you interested uh, on the back of the office? Is there something awareness? Uh, you might
course, before the board tonight is I had to sit down with the employees because I had to get those board approval first. But I have no problem. I'm going to show the board's going to vote, but I can tell you what my recommendations are. My recommendation tonight is for Sherry for a 3% raise. 3%. Kevin Lowe, 3%. Rich Atwood, 1.5%. Lisa Gibbons, 1.5%. Al Stoffrigan, 4%. And Mohan, uh, 5%. Those are my recommendations before the board tonight to vote. Uh, to vote on. So that's where we're at. And um, where the money's coming from, two, uh, three of the individuals come from the general fund, uh, two, of the, two other individuals are coming from the fire fund, and one individual is coming from the water and sewer funds. Okay. So that's where we're at. All right, All right. And anyone else? Questions or comments from the audience?
On the 19th, we have Representative Thaddeus Jones. He's having a satellite office here. Representatives from the um, Representative's office will be here. So if, if you're under uh, Representative Thaddeus Jones district, you might want to come in here and talk to his representatives. And that is from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Saturday the 23rd is a very busy day around here around the village hall. Starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, we have a foreclosure workshop. That's going to be happening from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. From 10.30 to 12.30, we have the tax appeal workshop that will be happening. And then again, from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, there will be another uh, Affordable Care Act presentation and enrollment period. Uh, and again, that's all happening here at the Village Hall. Um, it'll be split up between different rooms. So uh, if you have any neighbors, friends, uh, anyone's having problems financially, they have, um, this foreclosure will start off be for homeowners, but it's also now opened up to renters. So it's a foreclosure workshop for both homeowners and renters. And then uh, at the end of the month is Thanksgiving. So we have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, with that said, move to the third thing. Everything that was just stated is also included in the village calendar, which can be found on the <coughs> village website at www.sockvillage.org. It's also located on the back table. So everything that he just said and more, and Mr. Mayor will mention it those, and it also included in the sock talk that is also on the back table. And finally, I would like to include that um, we're going to try something new. It hasn't been set up yet, but we're in the process of getting it set up. It's called eBlast Sock Village Alerts. So that if you provide your sock, your email address to me, I will see that anytime there's an alert that needs to be uh, received by the residents, it'll go out in one e blast to all residents. So if you provide your, your email information to me through the front desk or by my email, which is dlw1633 at aol.com, I will happily place you on a list of residents who will receive alerts. This could happen for anything. It could be a boil order. It could be in a case where a meeting is canceled due to inclement weather. It could be something as simple as a reminder notice when there's a special meeting getting ready to happen. So we're going to try this and see how it works. And I hope that you're pleased with the results. And please get me your email addresses as soon as possible because I'd like to have this set up by hopefully the beginning of the middle of next week. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That concludes my report. And there will also be a special call meeting on this Thursday, the 14th, at 7 o'clock p.m. And the agenda has been posted in the hallways. And if you need a copy of the actual agenda, I have some here. It's a special call meeting at 7 o'clock this Thursday, the 14th. Thank you. It's in the sock talk, but again, it's DLW1633 at AOL.com. Move to village attorney, attorney Michael Graff. Uh, thank you, Mayor. No report. Village engineer, Mr. Jim Jones. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Uh, regarding the quiet zone improvements, the delineators that are going, going to be installed, they have been delivered to Public Works. So um, the, the railroad CN has a contractor all picked out and ready to go. Now all we're waiting on is approval from IDOT and the county on the permits that we submitted to them a month ago. So we continue to bug them about it, but as soon as they give us their approval, then we'll be green the job. All right. Okay. Sorry, but uh, we're hoping to get it done by the end of November still. It'll still be a quick install. So. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you. We have number four. We have reports trustees and board committees. Uh, Parks and Works Committee, Trustee Hoskin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> First, I'd like to report the basketball program is getting ready to start. We are awaiting our coaches. All games will be played community center on Saturdays in the morning, so we won't interfere with any projects going on over there. Um, we're still waiting for the coaches. We have coaches who have volunteered. We have to wait for background checks, and that is our full up right now, so but that should be starting very soon. We also have decided on the date for the Santa Parade. It will be December 14th. It will start at 10 a.m. at the Public Works. We are looking for volunteers to help decorate the, the trailer that week beforehand. So if you're in rec, you're creative, if you don't mind putting a little work in, during the day, it has to be during the day. We're looking for volunteers to work on that uh, trailer. And that's a uh, public work zone. And that is my report. Hey, Trustee Chester Morgan. No, sir. All right, move 
to the Unification Committee, Trustee Martin. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor and Board. Uh, there is a special meeting that's going to be called November 24th at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, for the Beautification meeting, uh, Committee meeting, and it will be here at the Town Hall. That's all I have. Thank you. Orange Review Committee, Trustee Martin. Thank you, just, Mr. Mayor. Just one item tonight. Uh, I just want to inform the presidents that uh, the Ordinance and Review Committee will be working on a social media uh, audience. Uh, the police department already promised me a couple of drafts and uh, we'll be meeting with the other departments on some of their guidelines too. Thank you, Ms. Brown. That's all I have. Hey, Trustee uh, Intergovernmental Relations Committee, Trustee Burgess. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to report real quickly that we're working on a multi uh, municipal uh, venture to bring out um, the trades to the south suburbs awareness. I've talked to several uh, of the uh, municipality uh, officials and, uh, and also I've talked to uh, our Congresswoman, Congresswoman uh, Kelly to have a awareness, uh, first of all, to bring it out into the south suburbs. That's what we're working on right now. And as soon as we finalize or get a date, I will let everyone know uh, where we got, where it will be held. I'm trying to get it held here, but it seems like it's going to be really, really large, so I don't know um, if we can uh, actually handle it here, but uh, we're going to try to see if we can. And that is my report. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Cobb. Move to the Neighborhood Watch Committee, Trustee Washington. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Board. I want to make a very important announcement tonight for the Neighborhood Watch. We are going to have our tag day on this coming Friday. If you have the Soft Talk, it's in the Soft Talk. It's also on our Soft Village Neighborhood Watch Facebook page. We're going to be at four intersections from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then we're going to come back from 3 in the afternoon to 6 p.m. We're going to be at four different locations on Salt Trail in Torrance, where Walgreens is, on Salt Trail in Jeffrey, where the Mirabon gas station is, on Salt Trail in Cottage Grove, where Bloom Trail High School is, and also on Torrance and Lincoln Highway, where the Sitco gas station is. We're going to be at those four locations at those times in the morning from 6 to 9, and then we're coming back from 3 to 6. Now, I'm going to say I've helped all these other committees with different programs that they've had. And I am pulling my cards down at this time and asking all of the elected officials if they'll give us at least an hour within this time frame before work or after work. Also, I want to report that we received a $50 cash donation from a citizen, a private citizen. We also received a $150 check from a business. We also received another $50 cash donation from a private citizen, and that's $200. And we are constantly collecting donations for the signs for the decals. We're going to have six big signs that's going to go into the six entrances of Salt Village. We are a neighborhood watch community. And we're going to have 26 smaller signs, right, Kevin? 26? 30? Oh, 20, okay. That's going to go all throughout the village that would be approximately, I don't know the dimensions, but about this big, almost like a stop sign, but a little smaller. And everybody in the village doing the Neighborhood Watch program and our meetings, uh, Mayor and Board, are very excited. And they want, it's amazing that everybody wants to sign on their block. But we want to sign on this block. I said it's not going to be a sign on every block in South Village. The Director of Public Works said that there are 26 streets that lead all through this village, and he's going to decide along with the Mayor and the Board where the signs are going to go. So it's just, it's funny, but it's fun, and it's also interesting. So in conclusion, I'm asking the entire community, all of the community organizations, I'm asking the Salt Village Plan Group, and I'm also asking Salt Village Citizens for Public Awareness and any other community organizations to help us on this coming Friday with our tag day to raise funds for these signs for our Neighborhood Watch program. If you have any further questions, you can see me at the end of the meeting. Thank you, and that concludes my report. Good, the Trustee of Public Relations uh, and Community Outreach Partnership Committee's Trustee Williams. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I um, just want to let everybody know the Sock Talks are out there on the back table. Um, in the Sock Talk, you will see that um, under the Public Relations article, we have listed this year's Sock uh, Student Government Day essay topic. The topic for this year is who has had the most impact on your life up till now. Um, this information will be passed along to the eighth graders at Rickover, as it is every year, through the um, school board. 
If anybody knows of any eighth grade students that do not that live in South Village but do not attend South Village schools, please have them contact myself or the village clerk who is a committee member. So, and if they would like to participate, we can pass that information on to them. Um, currently, we are starting to seek donations to Student Government Day, so anybody who would like to donate, please see me. Also, the Public Relations Committee is working in tandem with grades three through seven for the new Village Sticker Design Podcast. We're really excited about this because it's our first time doing this, so we're hoping to get some really good participation. Um, this will be, this has gone out to the school board. This will be going out, this is our form that we will be using. That we're asking students to grades three through seven to create our next village sticker. There's very simple instructions, five instructions, no words, just, there's no limit on colors or anything, but, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, there's no limit on colors, it's markers, but we're asking them to come up with something, so we're really excited about seeing what they're gonna be turning in. Um, this information has been out to the school board already. There's information of that in the soft talk as well. Again, if anybody knows any students in Sock Village from grades three through seven, who do not attend South Village schools, please let myself know or the village clerk know and we can pass the information on. We want to make sure that all the children in South Village are a part of this, that that wants to be. And that concludes for public relations and then the community outreach partnerships. Um, our meeting for today was canceled, again, due to a special meeting that happened two weeks ago. So um, let's hope for a meeting in two weeks. Let's hope we don't have another special meeting and um, we can have a meeting for them, so it'll be November 26th at 6 p.m., which will be right before the next board meeting. And that's the request. Thanks, Trustee Moon. I have departments, committees, and commissions. With the fire department, 91 commission trustees, I'm sorry, chief, sorry. Thank you, Mayor and Board. Over the past three weeks, the fire department responded to 36 calls. The fire department responded to 11 car accidents. I guess that uh, little saying I had last time. Last night we went on two different action calls. I think there was a total of nine cars involved. Well, people watch yourselves, and the water's changing, and those overpasses get very slippery. And I'm here to attest that last night. Uh, one ambulance assists, seven fire alarms, one the smoke showing, assists the PD, four seal alarms, one structure fire, one car fire, and two gas tanks. To please turn it. Um, since October 22nd, the police department has taken 930 calls for service. 47 were domestics, 41 disturbances, 148 arrests. Uh, update on the new vehicles. Um, they're going in one at a time as minor electronics is able to accept them. Uh, once they are outfitted, they all the holes and everything is drilled and plugged and the lights are in the sirens and all that are in there. They will be uh, slated for the stickers for the fully marked police decals. Uh, we have one set back with one of the new vehicles, a tail light flooded. Uh, obviously they're all under warranty that was taken back to Prairie Wars. And, uh, if it has not been picked up, it will be picked up uh, tomorrow or the next day. Um, I'm interested in purchasing the raffle ticket and um, over the holiday weekend, I'd like to remind everybody that uh, our drive sober or get pulled over campaign for the federal grant will be in full force. Um, it will also include seatbelt violations. So we remind everybody uh, on the holiday weekend if you're going to be drinking, please designate a driver. Um, and that concludes my report, Mayor. Thank you very much. Move to the public course department, Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. A couple items. Um, with the uh, last time report, we had a bunch of street lights uh, we repaired. We did get to a few more, um, 215, 216th in Orion. Um, that was a combat issue. Power line was pulled down from the storm from the branch. Uh, 22109 Brookwood, that has a new head repaired on that um, street light. And uh, we do have some outstanding still, and as uh, manpower is available, we will continue uh, to repair them. Uh, they are mostly faults and poles that have to be put up. Uh, we are also starting into uh, our beatbox box jet um, season because summer is so busy. But uh, we will be digging um, high bill uh, beat boxes or jetting out boxes for repairs for any rehabs or any uh, residents living work on their house or plumbing. 
Um, we did dig, dig two of them up. One was a high bill, 2042-217, and the other one was the uh, landlord um, repair, 2022 uh, Also, uh, for water, we have the south side list is going out. This list uh, is usually a bigger list, but it uh, seems that this list is actually shrinking. That list will start to be shut off tomorrow, so any resident, uh, please go up and pay your bill. So far, uh, the LEAF program, uh, everything is going pretty well. The first week was kind of a slow drop. Uh, this week here with the weather conditions, um, everything is going pretty fast. So everybody, please break all your leaves out. You don't have to be out by the 17th. Um, and once we pass your street, do not put any more in the street because you'll be ticketed. Um, the sweeper will follow each location that's been, that's been picked up after the final takeoff. And they cannot pick up piles. They can only pick up the minor group. So please uh, get that out for us to pick up before the 17th. Um, <clears throat> we also uh, have to finish up for the winter. We have to patch a few of the holes that we had open. Uh, I reported last time in Navajo we started. We repaired on Navajo and Orion, Navajo and 220, sorry, Navajo and Orion, Orion and Navajo, 222nd Street in Talandis, and the Public Works Yard on our gas island, and multiple potholes in the area. Uh, we're still preparing for winter with all our vehicles. We do have some older vehicles, so it's staying a little longer than usual. But we do have our three mainline trucks that are ready, so we should be ready for any salting or minimal snowfall. Hopefully, there won't be any, either of those. Uh, uh, we did have uh, one complaint of some storm ranges in the last week. Uh, we had some wind, we had some icy conditions. Uh, we asked any residents that have had branches come down from village trees or even in their yard. Just please call the village hall with uh, those locations. And we are only picking up branches. We're not picking up whole piles, just the branches. So we will not go out individually. We'll just take it from call to call. Uh, also, let's see. Uh, during the summertime, I reported a couple times in a few meetings about uh, tree removal. We have uh, the Emerald Ash tree, uh, which basically all of our dying. The, the one that all have to be cut down. We roughly village trees, we have about almost 500 of them. And then residentially, there's probably another, at least a couple hundred out there. Uh, we couldn't get to them in the summertime due to the maintenance of just normal public grounds maintenance. So we're going to be starting uh, our, our cutting in December. So we will be cutting trees down. We will be stumping trees, but we'll first cut them down. And we will be starting in the east side of town. There's smaller trees, and we'll be moving to the north side, which we have some uh, bigger, older ones that are in, in the process. This will probably take the next couple of years of us cutting trees down to do this because the trees are in a state of dying back. So uh, an ash tree will usually start to die from the, from the top first and, and it will start to grow at the bottom again, but it will not grow as a regular tree. So every year you'll see a tree dying back and we'll get to those each year and we'll start to plan for the rest. This year I think we have about 120 cut down and then we'll follow up with what we can and find some money to replace them as we can. Um, signage 
Um, I think they're looking to go somewhere like where Chung Shan Chef, that location. And the young lady that works for Dress Phones came in today with a business application for 2583 Soft Trail. That's where the old ABC Wireless um, used to be. Uh, she's opening up a Boost Mobile phone. Um, I asked her if there was gonna be clothing items or anything like that involved, and she said no, it was Boost is the corporate. They will only be selling phones and Boost accessories. It's an allowable use. So she's going to be having the fire department go out there to do their inspection. And I think that concludes my report. Thank you very much. You want to find us, Director, Mr. Allen? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. checks every month that were, that were being bounced, we stopped those. Uh, and it's not to, not to me, it's through the, the front desk, the girls at the front desk and uh, Mr. Rohan enforcing um, that we're not going to take down checks. So uh, the credit card machine that we have up there has saved us a lot already. Um, and it's, it's up to rent residents also. Residents are also able to pay their, their water bills online. Uh, so um, that's made it a little bit more accessible for those residents to make sure they can pay their water bills also. So uh, the fact that we can be able to, to, to swipe a check and know immediately if the funds are available, and if they are, the village automatically gets those funds and puts a hold on that so, so we know we're gonna get paid uh, in case something that we need to afford. Again, it's, it's moving us forward in the right direction. And uh, if you go shopping, you go to Walmart, wherever you go, they automatically swipe your check and a lot of these places give you your check right back to you because they've already got the money. So. All right, move to uh, South Village Homeland Security Agency, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Board. Uh, over the last three weeks, as we've responded to 31 calls, which involved 11 car accidents, seven fire alarms, one assist to other agency, one school <coughs> patrol, one smoke shoveling, four seal alarms, three gas leaks, one car fire, one smell of burning wires, and one smell of gas. I just 
take everybody to where it's, if we are not trying to make you inconvenience by blocking the street off when we have a call. We'll, we'll block the street off and make sure that the fire department and police department are able to do their job safely. If you happen to live on one of the streets where we're working on, just advise the person that's at that intersection that give them your address and they will get you to your house as close as possible. Sometimes if you're close to an incident, you may have to park a couple houses down from your home. That's all we are done. But this, we're not trying to make some inconvenience. We're trying to make sure that our personnel and the fire department can do their job safely. And that concludes my report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Move to uh, Human Relations Commission, Trustee Washington. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to uh, Remind everybody that we're going to be having our first annual diversity dinner for the Human Relations Commission. If you have the soft talk, it's on the very back of the soft talk that's in the back of the room. We have a limited amount of individuals that we can allow to participate because we don't have a lot of space, but this is going to be a very exciting opportunity for males and females of all gender and ethnicity to come together for this diversity dinner. I want to thank uh, the commissioners that's in the room, Commissioner Steve and Commissioner Frank. I think I saw him somewhere. He's the Vice President, Frank Williams. If you fill it out tonight, you can be guaranteed to have a seat. We're only going to have eight tables, so it is on a first-come basis. And like I said, if you fill this out tonight, we're only uh, going to allow two people per family because some family members have a lot of members in their household. We're trying to encourage different residents from all over the village to come and participate in our diversity dinner. And I want to just also say we have two great outstanding individuals that came to the meetings and they've been coming uh, faithfully and we made a recommendation to the mayor to allow them to become commissioners as well. So we hope you, the mayor and the board will consider that as well. And I do want to uh, remind everyone also that we meet every first Monday of the month right here at the village at 6.30. And that concludes my report. With that said, I guess for a motion to approve Robert Hudson as Human Relations Commissioner. So moved. So moved. Yeah, the motion is there, second. Second. Yeah, motion is second. Any questions or comments? Here now goes short case call roll. Burgess. Yes. Gordon. Yes. Myers. Yes. Foster. Yes. Washington. Yes. Williams. Yes. Motion carries. I'd like to ask for a motion to approve Arlene Levette as Human Relations Commissioner. So moved. Second. second. Motion is second. Is there any questions or comments? Hearing none, Judge Kirk, please call the roll. Burgess. Yes. Gordon. Yes. Myers. Yes. Foster. Yes. Washington. Yes. Yes. Motion carries. All right, we're at number H, Housing Commission, Mr. Helper. No me. report tonight. Thank you, sir. Who's that? Am I seeing committee? Ms. Lyson? Make it short. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Waiting for Gary to get his report. I guess he's giving me his time. <laughs> um, I just want to remind that Blue Township has their luncheon tomorrow, the 13th. It's a country jamboree starring uh, Jerry Vernon's band at the Glenwoody Golf Course. And also to remind participants are asked to bring non-perishable food items for the township food pantry. Their senior chair exercise continues every Friday, 10 to 11. Don't forget, for those on Medicare, there's an open enrollment for any new or if you decide you want to change your uh, Medicare Part D. They still have legal assistant clinic every fourth Tuesday by appointment. And also, by appointment, is blood pressure screening every third Wednesday. And if you need assistance in deciding your health insurance, the Illinois program SHIP, that's the senior insurance program that's available for your counseling at this uh, township. And they also have the senior wheels, which provides low cost transportation which in, within the township. Their number is 708 758 8200. Holiday food basket applications are available through November 27th. And they have the same guidelines as CETA. You need to call the Blue Township Senior Department, 708-754-9400, extension 244, for additional information and our services. And the Senior Committee would like to thank all the participants and the volunteers.
volunteers for a very successful staying room only 10th annual senior spaghetti dinner. And the senior committee continues to sponsor the free Zumba class. The next one is Saturday, November 16th from 1 to 1.45 and every first and third Saturday. Free monthly blood pressure screen for all village residents and village employees. The Senior Center office on this Monday, December 1st and every first Monday from 1 to 2. The, mon uh, the um, paperback book exchange continues uh, on an honor system and we want to thank our recent donors Nancy Baker, Carol Manners, and Linda Todd. The next blood pressure and movie for senior movie is Heidi on Monday, December 9th. That's co-sponsored with McConaughey Library, and it's also at the library. There are flyers listed for all these activities, and also there is still senior center survey available for those who uh, have interest in certain events. The South Village American Legion 1259 uh, wants to thank all participants in their raffle. Congratulations to the winners. First prize is Roy Fesler. Second prize went to Uncle John's Flea Market in St. John, who donated the money back to the American Legion. Third prize, El Stop. As I said, money goes to money. <laughs> just, just, just want to announce that the free turkey dinner to all is on Sunday, November 17th from noon to 4 p.m. and it's sponsored by South Suburban College in Thornton Township at the South Suburban College Fieldhouse. That's 150-800 State Street in South Holland. And as most of you also know, on Thursday, November 28th at 2 p.m., is a free dinner at the First Baptist Church on Burnham Avenue. And unfortunately, I see the flyer for the diversity dinner. It lists the Senior Center, but that has not been approved because that's on the agenda for Thursday. And uh, I do want to make some clarification. I've had people ask questions. Is, how is the Senior Center used? Senior Center is used for senior activities. We do have the community center that's available for all other events. And I know that we've had trustees in the past ask if they could have events there. And I was told at that time by our manager, uh, Dick Dietrich, and he said, any personal uh, events would be rental charge. And we do have rental application available. The next senior committee meeting will be held on Thursday, November 14th at 5 p.m. at the Senior Center and every second Thursday at 5 p.m. Thank you. This ends my report. All right, very much. Move to item number six is in agenda. Is there anything that any trustees have any comments or would like to have removed? Yes, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to get um, 6G moved to 7B. All right. 6G to 7B. Is there anyone else? All right, with that uh, being removed from the consent agenda, I'll ask the, uh, for a motion to approve the consent agenda as amended. Second. Motion and second. Questions or comments? There you go, the clerk, please call the roll. Sporges. Yes. Orton. Yes. Myers. Yes. Glassman. Yes. Washington. Yes. Williams. Yes. Motion carries. Move to line number seven in business. Uh, first one is motion to approve accounts payable and disbursements for October 23rd, 2013 through November 12th, 2013. Is there a motion to approve? No. Motion is there a second? Second. Motion is second. Is there any questions or comments? Question. Trustee Burgess. Um, item, second page. I guess it would be vendor number 71. I, I would like to set, see that taken off of the um, Accounts payable at this time until we ratify that, and I guess we'd have to bring it back at a later date. But um, I think we need to take this off right now, um, as far as passing this particular amount, and then um, after we ratify that, then bring it back at a, at a later date. But right now, like I want to, I'm like to see it taken off of the accounts payable. Right now. 
Uh, Mr. Burgess, the uh, uh, payment debt service is due on 12-1. If you don't pay 12-4, I mean, they should have at least for 10 days before. If you don't pay, we will be on the phone. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't finish. You're right. I should have made more clarification. We're having a special meeting this Thursday in regards to that. So we're going to. It has, that has to be done. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but it hasn't been done prior to this, then, you know, but we cannot vote money out or, or, or pay something that we haven't voted out. I, I think by voting it tonight, approving it, the, it gives the, I'm sure that the finance director can hold the check until Thursday until it's, uh, the resolution is passed on Thursday. But Mr. Mayor, we can't vote. We, I mean, you may feel, and the rest of the board may feel that they may want to do it, that, that they may feel that they want to pass it. But until we have a vote of record, we cannot even pay a check until the money has been voted out at a board meeting. I mean, yes, we, I understand what, you, what was said, but I, that's why I wanted it to be put on hold. I'm sure Thursday, with the, I'm sure Thursday would not be a, a deadline issue. I mean, we're going to do this Thursday, but we need to do it the right way. I don't want to see this board pay something and then later on vote it out. That's not, that's not the way it's done. And that's all I'm asking is to have this taken off of accounts payable for right now. We're having a special meeting Thursday at 7 o'clock to ratify that. I don't know which way it's going to go. But when do you expect us to repass the accounts payable to make this? We can we we do that at that meeting. It's a special meeting. We cannot. The agenda's already posted to the meeting. You've had this uh, accounts payable in your box this last week. You've had the opportunity to come for the board. You've had the opportunity to approach me and ask for things to be removed and ask questions. And you've chose tonight to ask questions and to ask to, to make changes. Special meeting was called because of you, which the village residents have to pay because it's something you want done. And now you want to change a special agenda that was posted, giving 48 hours notice to say something else. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I thought we discussed this, but I guess I'll bring it, since you want to do it that way, we cannot pay anybody without ratifying that through this board. Even though we, we say we're going to pay it, even though I've had it for, I don't care if I had it for a month, if this board didn't ratify that and the open meeting vote, we can't spend the money. That's the, you've been a trustee longer than I have. We cannot spend money unless this board ratifies that. Yes, I've had it for a week like everyone else has had it for a week. But tonight, it should have been on the agenda to ratify that resolution. And then, yes, we're going to move forward. But it wasn't. Also, something that I asked for wasn't, wasn't given to me. That's why we happened to be, you're absolutely right, we're having a meeting Thursday so we could ratify this, ratify the resolution. But I cannot clearly, I can, I want trustee, you, the rest of the trustees to do what they want. But I cannot really give to passing something that we haven't ratified. The money has not been ratified, hasn't been voted to be taken out or whatever by this board. Yes, we talked about it, that's all we've done, Mr. Mayor, was talk about it, we did not ratify it. And until that time, that's all I'm asking is to be taken off of the accounts payable until such time has been ratified, then it can go back on. That's just pure semantics, that's all that is. But it has to be done that way. Well, rather than removing it, I'd ask the board to take into consideration that we pass the accounts payable as is, and under this line item, that it's subject to the approval of passing the resolution. Any other trustees have any questions or comments? I would ask that the motion be amended to so read the passing of this with this um, vendor 71 with the wording that it's subject to the approval of the resolution, the passing of the resolution. Mr. how come it cannot Trust just be stricken? How come it cannot, how come we cannot table that particular thing until such time? That's what I'm asking. He said he has a deadline. Okay, we're gonna be here Thursday. Once he finds out, then I mean, what's wrong with that? Once he finds out Thursday what the, what the pleasure of the board is going to be, he can take the city check out Friday morning. With the wording, of the subject to the approval of the resolution, it means it will not be paid unless the resolution passes. So, but this assures that if the resolution passes, 
we can move forward and make sure that we don't, do not go into default. And what you're asking is you're asking for this version on default. Mr. Bay, we've already paid money that we have not ratified. We've already spent money that was not ratified. I'm not trying to do it any, again, I do it anymore. We've already spent money that was not approved by this board. Trustee Myers, you made the motion, I remember, right? Would you like to make your motion? Yes. And Trustee, um, what, 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 Oh, Trustee Washington, I'm sorry. Williams made the motion, Washington, second. Will you withdraw your second? Yes. Thank you. And then Trustee Williams made it. You might talk to the same time. Oh, sorry. I'm withdrawing my motion. I amend it to make sure that it states that pending, pending the special meeting on Thursday, as a result of the said vote, that if the vote does pass, then we can pay the, I think we say the amount for the record. To the amount the is service amount of three hundred forty four thousand nine hundred and eighty eight dollars and fourteen cents. And the spending of that money is subject to the approval of the resolution which is before the board at a special meeting on Thursday. Again, the motion is there a second. Second. The motion is second. Motion to comments. Here you go, Mr. Clerk, please call the Burgess. No. Gordon. No. Myers. Yes. Austin. No. Williams. Yes. May the record show that vote? Yes. All right. Move to item 7B. Motion to approve an agreement between the Village of Saw Village and Universal Recycling Technologies. Your motion to approve. Mr. Mayor, again, I ask that we table this until we get the logistics on how we're going to bring them in. It's not, like you stated before, it's not a problem, it's not a deadline, but we need to at least get with the um, public works to find out, and then also with whatever committees that are going to be involved in this before we move forward with bringing someone in, even though it's not going to cost them anything. We need to know, first of all, where it's going to be, the hours that it's going to be there, and the um, who will be manning it on other hours other than um, the hours that um, public works. So I would like to say, can we table this particular item until we finish with those logistics? Trustee Burgess, put a motion on for the table, please. Second. A second to that comment. Okay. Question or comment? charge of uh, manning this 
uh, on a Saturday because, like you said before, we don't want to use man hours to man this because we're not getting any benefit. The village is not making any money off of this, so we can't afford to pay someone to man this. So this, these are some of the things that I think we need to do first before we do anything. I mean, you don't, we don't go out and buy a car and get a license afterwards. I mean, we need to, we need to go and, and take care of this first, then come back and tell them, okay, fine, we, we want to go forth with this, and we do have some kind of plan. But right now, as was stated, all we did was talk about this last week. So are you taking this project on? Is that what you're saying? You don't have no, I didn't say I was taking it on. I said we need to talk to Kevin to find out what he has available. And you said, spoke about some other committees that wanted to uh, to run the technology uh, on the weekend or to volunteer, to be getting volunteers to run it on the weekend because we can't pay public works to uh, operate this over the, the gates and everything. We haven't done it yet. We haven't, went, we haven't went to step one yet. At least I haven't heard anything from Kevin that he said, okay, we're going to put it here. We just talked about it, but we didn't bring Kevin into that meeting last week. <coughs> That's why I would just put it in, table it until we get that logistic worked out and then move forward with it. That's all it is. It's not, it's not a big thing. It's, it's just that I, I would want to thrust something on someone because we already got it. And they're going to come and say, okay, can we drop the container tomorrow? Can we drop it next week? We haven't even found out where we're going to drop it at. Uh, is there a reason why, I mean, if, if we delay it, does it hurt the chances of us using the service? I mean, will they basically say, well, you got to do it now or never? Well, probably not. I mean, again, by voting again, it's in motion. It allows us to get the agreement in place. And a lot of things you can work out um, for the hours working with public works where they want it. Again, I, I, I don't understand where the village board, unless the village board itself is going to take over running this project and this operation. Uh, we can talk about it. You can set up your hours when you want to run, when you want to do the collections. But uh, for someone who's not going to even be involved, I understand why you want to be involved in planning. But I mean, there's a motion in the second and fourth. Mayor, I wasn't yeah. saying that I wanted to be involved no, in planning. Plan the planning. No, I Just didn't. Mission. I said we need to bring our public works director in here and make him put it down and let him know and find out from him where we can put this container. Believe me, once we have an agreement with the company and working something out with he's going to be very much involved. Go ahead, Trustee Washington. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I thought that when I asked the representative if this would be placed some place, like where they take the clothes, it would just be out and where the residents could go, and she said, no, it would be some place where it would be monitored and that they, the company would handle all of the transferring of the uh, equipment that was placed in it back and forth from the village. I also thought that I understood that the state of the residents would have the opportunity to go and take televisions and monitors and computers and whatever the garbage where people will not pick up, they could take it there during a certain time. If that's placed wherever public works is, if that's behind the gate, then why can't they just go and take it there? The residents would have that uh, opportunity to take whatever they want to take as long as public works is open. I didn't understand that there was a lot of planning involved. It was just going to be placed where public works was behind the gates. <coughs> And then the residents can take it at their own leisure during those hours when they're open anyway. Nobody has to man it or watch it. It's just, it's no different than the drop offs for clothes and the other, uh, like the library outside, they have the books where you can just go and drop off the books. Yes, I asked for that. When they leave. Right. There, there, is, a little, there is a little bit of planning. It has to be done, but I think that planning needs to be worked out with people who are running it. I don't think they should be mandated by this village board on how they're going to run it and how they're going to uh, do the work. So, and that's only my personal feelings. We're not mandating anything, Mr. Mayor. We're giving public works a chance to have an input. We're not mandating anything. I'm holding, I'm asking the table is until we get input from public works and whoever else, whatever committee would like to be involved in that. We're not mandating, we're not setting any rules. I'm not asking to mandate anything. I'm asking to table it until such time we have a place where we can have it. What time are we is it going to be on Saturdays or if it's going to be on Saturdays at all? And where would public works like to have this container place? That's all I was asking, but that's just a motion. That's all it is. Clarification. This, the passing of this agreement, this agreement allows the village to start communications with this company to go forward. Correct. Correct. We're going to have to at least find out where we can put it. Again, that's 
that's where it probably first gets involved. Where can we put it? They have to show us how large a container. They said a 20 foot container, but we need to know the measurements and we find out exactly where it can go. Um, so and, and again, my, my, my thoughts is that public works would have a, a minor portion of it. It's probably going to pass along one of their, one of their locations. But I'm looking more toward probably beautification and public, um, I'm sorry, parks and recs to be helping out with the volunteering part of it um, when it comes to especially on the weekends and things like that. So this is going to be ran solely by the five volunteers the majority of the time. And that's the way that we, we talked about it and we're looking at setting it up. So this, this vote to go forward would not mean that the container itself was dropped tomorrow? No, it will not be dropped tomorrow. So there would be some sort of communication back to the board. I'm assuming some advertising that would have to go out to let residents know that this is an available service to them. I understand that the, the desire to move forward. I can also understand the desire for more information. I'm just trying to figure out so we're all on the same page. This just means we're interested, we'd like to look forward to going into whatever agreements we have to go through. This isn't anything that we have to pay. The right. agreement doesn't come with any money. We're not getting any money, but we're not giving any money up front either. And I'm, I assume in the beginning, maybe incorrectly, that once we went through with this, that you, Mr. Mayor, would be in the communications with the company, as well as Kevin, as well as the committees that you say, ideally, would be working out the volunteering program.
Uh, if, you, if you need to go through and get something, uh, some secondhand goods, things like that, uh, it, it goes for a good, good cause. So I um, would recommend during their hours, if you get a chance, go over and just, just walk through and take a look. And the training they have for these individuals is just unbelievable. So um, very impressed. And then uh, the agreement between Sock Village and Universal Recycling, let's move that to next Tuesday night. And uh, look for a trustee that will sponsor this, that uh, uh, wants to move forward and try to work on putting a plan together. So um, we'll see who steps up. All right, with that said, I ask for a motion to adjourn. So, thanks. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. I need volunteers for Friday. Would you please let me know if you can donate some?